Hi everyone, let's talk about the fact that the real numbers are uncountable, proven by a technique called Cantor diagonalization. Now recall, countable means that the set in question is in bijection with the positive integers. Uncountable means that S is not in bijection with the integers and positive integers and S is infinite. So in a different video I showed that Q is countable, the rationals, and this time we're going to show that R is uncountable. So let's get a couple of preliminaries out of the way. First of all, the interval 0, 1, it's in bijection with the positive reals because of the map that maps x to 1 over x minus 1. So this maps 0, 1 to the positive reals bijectively. Uh, secondly, the the real numbers are also in bijection with the positive reals because of the map x goes to e to the power of x and this maps the reals to the positive reals bijectively. So because we have 0, 1 in bijection with the positive reals and the positive reals in bijection with the reals, it suffices to show that 0, 1 is uncountable because it has the same cardinality as the reals. Now, what is 0, 1? 0, 1 consists of all decimal expansions like this, 0 point b1, b2, b3, b4, and so on, where the bi are in 0, 1, 2, all the way through to 9. Now, there is a temptation to, to say that these are all, they all represent distinct numbers, but that's not true. For example, 0 0.1000 is equal to 0 0.0999 and so on. So these are called dual representations. And what we're going to do, th these are the only cases th like where you have a bunch of nines at the end or a bunch of zeros at the end. These are the only cases where uh, we have dual representations. So what we're going to do is that we're just never going to use this one. We're never going to end with a bunch of nines that go on infinitely. So now, now we have un uniqueness. Now we have unique representations. Now, now we're going to be proving that 0, 1 is uncountable by contradiction. Suppose otherwise. Suppose 0, 1 is countable. So we can list it out. Let's, let's call that list like this. 0 point B11, B12, B13, B14, and so on. The next line is 0 point B21, B22, B23, B24, and so on. 0 point B31, B32, B33, B34, and so on. One more line, and then I'll, I'll put some uh, dots to denote the rest. 0 point B41, 
B4-2, B4-3, B4-4, and so on and so on. So what we want to do is show that some x in 0, 1 is not on this list. So that, that would show that this list is incomplete and we have a contradiction. The key is to look at the diagonal elements. That's why it's called Cantor's diagonalization method. What we're going to do is that, oh, by the way, uh, just remember, uh, none of these end in nines. No nines tail. What we're going to do is first we make the element 0 0.B11, B2, B2, B33, B44, and so on. And then we flip it. If it was binary, we could flip easily, but there are other issues with binary. Uh, we're using base 10. So just flip it so that you're, you construct 0 0.A1, A2, A3, A4 such that AI is never equal to B11 and to avoid a tail of 9's AI is also never equal to 9. So we, we avoid that completely. And so what's going to happen is that this element X X is not equal to this element because it doesn't match B11. A1 doesn't match B11. X is not equal to this element because A2 doesn't match B22. X is not equal to this element because A3 doesn't match B33. X is not equal to this element because A4 doesn't match B44 and so on. So we've constructed it. We, we found some X in 0, 1 that's not on this list. And that is the contradiction that we were seeking. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.